Okay, what you're about to see is a videotape of the repair of an oral hematoma. So it's a little uh, fluid accumulation in the pinna of the ear of this particular dog. And this is a little different way to do it, but this is how we do it with the surgery. Okay. All right, here we're showing the ear as affected. I'm getting ready to make an incision with the laser uh, on the tip of the ear there. Um, you can see we're making a little circular incision. We're going to extract some fluid. And a lot of times we have an accumulation of fibrin tags and things like that in there. So I, I use the scissors to protect the other part of the ear while I'm making a second incision. Because I don't want to I don't want to make an incision all the way through the ear. I just want to make it through this first layer. So the uh, the scissors makes a, a nice backdrop for the for the laser. And there we're making the circular incision, the little plug that we're going to take out. Yeah. So we've got several uh, larger draining holes there. So I go in there uh, with a pair of forceps and. I'm going to pull out some of the, the trash and debris that's collected in there, trying to help the, the ear heal in a, in a more natural uh, form. So there's a lot of debris that we'll pull out. Yeah, you can see that little fiber accumulation there. That's the, the kind of stuff that leads to uh, the ear crinkling down into a, uh, like a, well, the old boxers used to call it cauliflower ear. You see it on people, too. On a dog, we have, the, the pinna is so much bigger that it can uh, crinkle down and cover, cover the whole ear and prevent it from, from draining. So, okay, there we are. So we got most of the debris out, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna get a little bit more out. Okay. That's the nice thing about having multiple access ports. Okay, so here we go, and we start to do basically a, a spot welding tack on there. And you do multiple uh, little holes on the ear, and you kind of weld it to the other side using the laser. So that's what we're trying to do there. Basically, you laser all the way through, to, and you can start to feel the laser on the other side. And that's when you know to stop. And then here I sutured the ear to the top of the head so you didn't have to put the heavy bandages on. And those heavy bandages can be a little bit dangerous, so this is actually a much better way to go. There, there you can see it. 